Dans trois jours vous mourrez En paradis vous irez Dans trois jours vous mourrez En paradis vous irez Votre mari, madame, en enfer ira brûler. Green Spectres, you have given me the fright of my life. Let that price be enough for you. And please, leave me in peace. For Verly, I'm so afraid. <laughs> what injury could one such as I have caused you? I would not harm even a little fly. <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. You must turn the child of the most high god. Parlez-vous anglais? I said I'm child of God. No, no, no. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a Templar, I put away childish things. Now that you are one of us, Sister Mary Martin, you too must put away childish notions about the nature of good and evil. In his letter, Father Georgios in Constantinople commended your skills, but questioned your stomach for, how shall I put it, total war. What you need to remember, sister, is that evil never sleeps. It never goes away. Evil leaks its wounds and regroups. Evil twists, contorts, reinvents itself. It concocts every possible scheme and considers every plausible strategy. Above all else, my young Templar, evil waits. It watches from the tall grass for the first signs of weakness or slumber. It watches from the tall grass for the first signs of complacency and corruption. And it watches from the tall grass for the first cracks in the walls through which it can squirm back in again to steal and to kill and to destroy. Are you familiar with 1 Peter 5 8, sister? Yes, Father. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Evil grows stronger with each solely divorce, conquest, war. Famine and death are its means. Wealth, power and domination are its ends. This we Templars have sworn an oath to defend against, by any means necessary, no matter the cost. We cannot hesitate to sacrifice the few if it stops the slaughter of the many. There was a sacrificial lamb in Constantinople. Yes, Father. Alas, the first ones often leave the worst scars 
Have you made peace with yourself? I believe I have. And you wish to remain a Templar? You bet your sweet ass I do. Va bene. Because this next mission is a real plan. Ciao, sister. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been three months since my last confession, and I have been a very naughty girl, unchaste in my thoughts, my words, and my actions. To obtain information vital to the success of my mission, I drank way too much Ray K and smoked way too much opium in seedy hookah lounges. To fit in, I indulged excessively in my considerable talent for vulgar language, the lingua franca of the vile. I made several married men lust for my body in order to gain their confidence. And I knowingly sent a good soldier to his death because it got me close enough to slice up a real bad apple. This is all I care to remember, Father. I am sorry for these and all my sins. The life of a Templar knight is a burdensome and demanding one, sister. There are many setbacks on the path to salvation. Remember that, ultimately, the way of the Lord is a stronghold to the upright and ruin to the workers of iniquity. You are forgiven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Your penance is to recite ten Hail Marys. Then go forth and execute the Lord's wrath on every bad apple you find. A fucking man. Ciao, sister. All right, let us begin. Cardinal Charles, Father Adabet, distinguished guest. Welcome. My name is Fadanzima Lukeni, but everyone calls me Father Luke. I would like to congratulate our newest member on the successful completion of her trial mission. She is a real Templar now, and this is a real mission. Tomorrow morning, sister, you will be on a ship bound for the city of Winchester, USA, the whale oil capital of the world. You may also know that the nearby village of Winchester was a scene of a bloody witch hysteria in 1720, one century ago. As usual, it seems history is trying to repeat itself. There have been several mysterious deaths and disappearances in Winchester of late. Suspicions of witchcraft have again spread like wildfire to every corner of the land. And now, we have received an urgent plea for help from a convent outside the city. One of the nuns has disappeared without a trace. Normally, such an incident would not warrant intervention by the Templars. But we have it on very good authority that these dark goings on are all connected. The handiwork of a gestating evil that is feeding on Winchester. In the kingdom of Congo, where I am from, there is an old prophet that my famous granduncle told me when I was a boy. Mbudu anayitafuna maharagwe ndiye aliye nkwenye maharagwe. Which means, the worm that gnaws on the bean is the one inside the beam. Your assignment 
is to uncover the root of this evil in Winchester. Find the worm, whoever or whatever it is, and obliterate it by any means necessary, no matter the cost. May the Lord guide and protect you on this mission, Sister Mary Martin. Thank you.